it is time to upgrade my sewing machine. I am so excited. This year I'm going to be sewing my wedding dress and I have so many big sewing plans, but it was just time for an upgrade and shout out to brother for gifting this to me. I am so grateful. And this machine is exactly what I was looking for. It does so many things. So I'm going to unbox this and use it for the first time. And I will show you guys all of that. Comment if you have any questions. I'm going to be learning this along with you, but I just can't wait. So here we go. We have a little pedal. I know this is so random, but I love that the cord is white to this because this actually shows on my desk and my desk is white. So that's a win. All of the little tools and things come in a little pouch, which is nice. I'm going to keep all this stuff in its package right now until I know exactly what I need it for because I don't want to lose anything. Handy dandy manual. There's something in here. Oh, okay. Not sure what that is yet. <laughs> This and this, I don't know what this is yet. I'm going to take the machine out and then we'll dive into this. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is for the embroidery. So it's a sewing machine and embroidery machine, which I'm super excited about. So that's the embroidery hoop, I believe it's called. Oh, okay. So this is the base. I believe when I use the embroidery, so that's pretty cool. A little thread where the bobbin goes. Make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, I think we're good. I am going to worry about this mess later. Okay, initial thoughts. I love that this machine is white. It matches my sewing room really well, and it's just like so cute. So that's not important to its function, but I do care about the aesthetic in my sewing room. So loving that so far. There's all this tape. I think I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's see what, oh, fancy. I've never had one with like a screen on it before, so that's pretty cool. Start your creative journey. Okay. Okay, so there's this little booklet. It has a QR code. I'm guessing this is to download the Art Spirit app, which is Brother's app um, that I already have because I have the Brother Sketch PP one, which is the um, it's a really beginner friendly embroidery machine that um, it's a little bit smaller hoop than this, but you use the app and you can just like, upload your designs and embroider anything you want. So I love that machine, which is why I'm so excited to get these other brother machines. So I do already have the Art Spirit app, so I'm just gonna put this aside for now. Handy dandy. Okay, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Going away now. You can get a free embroidery design. Warranty, worry about that later. Oh. Just some light reading. Okay, so there's a quick reference guide, which I like. Let's see. Wireless network connection. Ooh, how to wind and install the bobbin, upper threading, selecting stitches, all the different stitches they offer. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, I should probably show you guys, huh? Okay. I know it's not that close, but you can get a little sneak peek. There's all these different stitches and in info. There's more stuff. I like that there's a little quick guide because I'll keep that out probably. And then the included accessories. Oh, it comes with a lot of accessories. 36 to be exact. A zigzag foot, a monogramming foot, overcasting foot, zipper foot, blind stitch foot, button fitting foot, buttonhole foot, embroidery foot, 
needle set, twin needle, bobbin, seam ripper, scissors, cleaning brush, eyelet punch, screwdriver, small and large, disc shaped screwdriver, bobbin center pin and instruction sheet, horizontal spools, spool pin, spool cap, large, medium, small, thread spool insert, spool net, knee lifter, standard bobbin case, alternate bobbin case, foot controller, embroidery frame, size large, embroidery bobbin thread, accessory bag, grid sheet, operation manual, quick reference guide, and embroidery design guide. I don't even know what all of those are, but that's great that it includes them. I'll go through these later. It just has different languages. So this is a grid sheet, which I don't know what that is yet. I'm assuming it has to do with the embroidery. So I'm gonna put that aside as well. Look how cute this little embroidery design guide is. That's adorable. We have all these little pictures, letters you can do, I believe different language, characters, all sorts of things. Okay, how to change the color. So I'm going to leave this to the side yet. I'm not going to embroider quite yet. I just want to be able to use this as a machine and then I'll dabble with embroidery. So if you're curious to see how to use the embroidery as someone who hasn't used it before, so kind of learn with me um let me know because i could do another video specifically on that operation manual and then they have a few different languages so that's everything that comes with it okay so i am removing all this blue tape that's just holding everything in place while it ships and everything shipped well okay so i'm gonna start by plugging this in that seems like a good starting point i just plugged it in i haven't turned it on this is what I mean. The foot wire is white and my desk is white. And so like in videos, you see the white one and that one kind of just goes off to the side. And I just love that. That makes me very happy. Don't mind all the thread on my floor. If you can even see it. But I love that. I haven't even turned it on yet. Like I said, but I did open this. Oh. Ready? Boom. Look how nice and organized that is. My other one, I just had a bunch of stuff crammed in there. So, so far, we are loving this. It is time to turn this thing on. Very excited. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see the little screen. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's adorable. Look at this cute little screen. Shows all the different embroidery projects. Let me see if it can go through again. Oh, it shows different like art spear projects, I think. That's adorable. Okay. Hello? Oh my goodness, how cool. I am officially connected to Wi-Fi. Now let's see what's next. I also really like that there's inches and centimeters ruler right here that is super nice for when you just need to quick measure something that's a really cool feature um here it looks like these are all the different stitches i'm not going to play around too much with different stitches right this moment i mostly just want to make sure i am able to thread this machine right now now i'm going to thread this thing and then we'll do a few test stitches i'm going to use these steps you can also look up on youtube how to thread your machine but i'm just going actually follow the steps given to me i'm also pretty comfortable threading sewing machines i feel like once you know how to thread one you kind of know how to thread them all unless there's something well, unless there's something like crazy different about them so it came with this wool thread so i'm gonna use this and first we need to wind our bobbin if you're new to sewing the bobbin is the thread that loops on the bottom of the machine and this goes on top and goes through your needles so that they can interlock underneath. I'm pretty sure every machine comes with at least one bobbin. This is a bobbin. This one also comes with three extras and a spot for the one that I have right there. Okay, step one is open the top of the machine. Oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. I've never seen a machine that has all that like under a cover and I feel like that's why this machine looks so like pretty and nice is because 
this is so clean and then like all the technical stuff is underneath and there's also all these different stitches here too so they seem to have lots of guides for what you need to know which is very nice okay, since this isn't a tutorial i'm not going to walk through like a whole step by step i'm just gonna thread it if you do want to learn how to thread your machine like with very detailed steps just look up your model on youtube and there will pretty much be a guide on all of them i can almost guarantee it but i'm just going to go through this super quickly i really love it when sewing machines have these little pictures and these number guides that show everything of how to thread it because it makes it so easy because once you've had a machine a while you know how to thread it by heart but the first few months of having it it is really nice to have those I love this. You wrap it around and then it has an automatic cutter. That's something I noticed with Brother is they have really nice like automatic cutters, which makes it easier when you're threading your machine quickly. You don't also have to take out your scissors or your clippers. So little things like that. It's like just so nice. I am ready to go. I believe I just pushed this button. Start stop button does not operate with controller attached. Oh. Okay, I hit that button. It said I had to unplug the foot press, and now it's just winding on its own. That's pretty cool. My bobbin is winding currently, and I'm doing nothing. This is unattached. The foot press is unattached, and it's just doing its thing. Love that feature. I absolutely love this feature because while my bobbin winds, I could be doing something else, like cutting out something or even just looking at my phone. So. This is a really nice feature. So far, everything is like very efficient and super user friendly. So once this winds, then I am going to thread the machine and we'll do some stitches. That is also probably the tightest, most beautifully wound bobbin. Not only was it hands free or foot free, <laughs> it also made a really nice bobbin. This feels like the store bought ones that are pre wound. So love that. As this little cutter, like I was saying, it has all these nice little cutters for you. Just make everything so efficient. So I just put it through here. I have not thread the needle, but I'm getting the vibe that it's an automatic needle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I did not follow the instruction booklet, so I'm just gonna try something. I'm gonna hit this needle button. That just raises and lowers it. Okay, scratch that. Oh, this button. Oh, 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 I don't know what I did. Okay, there's this button that has like a redo, recycle type of sign, and then a needle. Okay, let's try it. Okay, let's hit this again. Oh, okay. Needle is down. Oh, okay. Raise the needle. That's so fun. Get this. Okay, I am following the instructions now because I... Oh, there's the automatic threader. Wow. Oh, that just made my life. You have no idea how excited I am that everything is so automatic. All you do is put it through, cut it, and then lower this, and it threads it for you. That's phenomenal. My little bobbin in. Oh, automatic cutter. Boom. It's so fancy. Like I said, I wasn't going to use all this, but I really am. Now I'm on selecting and sewing stitches. We just went through upper threading, winding the bobbin. This has actually been super helpful. I'm going to close this up. Oh, actually, maybe I should leave it open because of all these stitches. Okay, never mind. I was going to close it up because it's so nice, so clean. But I'm going to leave it open for now. Hello. Okay, there's probably like a whole booklet on this, but I'm just going to do, let's just do like a middle, there's left needle position. I don't know what these little dashes mean. Let's do this one. Or you can go right and left. Okay, how oh, interesting. Okay, I've selected my stitch and then, oh, it tells you what presser foot you need. Oh, so that answers that question. So I was wondering what presser foot I was supposed to use since this one says it's for zigzags, but it says J which correlate to the letters here, so it's all labeled. That 
is just so nice. I love organization, so that is phenomenal. So this is J. It says I need J. So far, so good. Okay, we're threaded. Okay, so now I'm gonna close this. I'm guessing, is this the stitch speed? It looks like it. Like, go faster, slower. Let's start slow, since we're new here. I'm going to sit on this side now. Let me turn. I got some scrap fabric. It's like just some cotton that's super easy to sew. So I'm just gonna take a little piece and do a little test scene. Put down. Oh, the slow speed is really slow. I like that it has a slow option though. That's kind of fancy. Cause then you don't have to worry so much about your foot and you have more control. Ooh, I don't know where the back stitch is. Over here, right? No. Back to my booklet. Every time I don't follow the booklet. Oh my gosh, there's even a cutter here. Wow. Okay, I did it. I'm getting the feeling that you don't even need your foot press because I tried to push a button and it said you can remove the foot and it'll do it. I, it's like a start and stop button and then you just change the speed. That is crazy, I'm gonna try that out, okay. My foot pedal isn't even plugged in. I'm gonna put my fabric under. I'm gonna go so slow speed and press the start button. It literally sews. I know it sounds like I'm like just flabbergasted and it, it might be dramatic, but that is crazy. This is like very technologically advanced. Okay, and then you can just stop it and trim it. That's insane. I'm gonna show you a close up because that was just like so crazy. Wow. I, I should probably, I'm gonna get a darker fabric so you can actually see my stitch. My foot pedal isn't even plugged in. So my feet are doing no work. I'm going to put my fabric under the presser foot. It's turned green. Okay, watch this. Okay, starting slow. Let's go. Go. I'm doing nothing. Now you can speed it up. Of course you wanna, you, you would wanna guide it, but literally this is crazy. Okay, and then I can stop it. And it stops. And then hit this little uh, scissor button. Look at that. You still can't see it too well. I didn't have any just like plain black scrap fabric, but you can kind of see the white seam right there. I am blown away. Let's choose a different stitch. That'll be fun. That's an embroidery, so I don't want to mess with that. I don't believe. Okay, let's try one that's like, see what this one looks like. Like this like scribble. Mm. Go. Cute. It's like a little zip bag. Okay, wow. Okay, wow. I am so impressed by this machine. I'm not just saying that, like, all those features I talked about with just like the automatic threading, cutting, start and stop button without needing um, the foot pedal and everything. Like, I didn't know if sewing machine could be that fancy and like technologically advanced. Um, so I am so impressed. I still have so much I need to explore on this machine and I haven't even dove into the embroidery stuff. So if you guys are curious about me using the embroidery for the first time, let me know, I can make a full video on that. And if you have questions about this machine, let me know. But thank you again to Brother for this machine. This is my genuine review. Um, although they did gift it to me, this machine is the coolest thing I own in this room. So I am so impressed and I would highly recommend this machine if you're looking for a really